What's going on, friends? Thank you, as always, to the Wordsmith for that fantastic intro. Thank you to the Beards for being the fantastic lead-in program that they always are Thursday nights here on Love Wrestling. And welcome to your Pro Wrestling Pub Trivia Show. This is Quizplex here on Love Wrestling. And as you can see, I've got a pair of heady, heavy hitters from the ring who are stepping out of the ring to have some Pro Wrestling Pub Trivia uh, happening right now. Are we pointing? Are, is everything okay? Are you the heavy hitter? <laughs> You're the heavy hitter, yeah. right? Oh no, no, it's it's you guys, Spencer. Oh shit! Yeah, no, it's it's definitely me, Ben. I thought so. <laughs> I was just clarifying. I just want to make sure. Joining us from stateside, he is the one man demolition machine. One half of the the tag team, the end. Pero, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. I hopefully I don't fucking suck at this. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be fun. Part of the fun is the failure of this game. So it's going to be, a, we're going to have a blast as always. And I'm not going to lie. I was going over the questions. I'm like, I think I made this one a little bit tougher than uh, than most months. But it's going to be fun. Why are you going to do that, man? All the same. Uh, I know. I was just going to comment on the face you were making this, as I said that from Canada. I'm surprised he's even coming on the show. No, he, since he knows I'm from Montreal and I know he hates this place. Big Ben Ortmans. How are you, sir? I'm here. I mean, I'm injured. Uh, I'm uh, I'm in Ontario, which is I don't know if it's better than Montreal or not at this point. Because to be honest with you, I fucking hate Ontario. It's becoming a, a mess. Um, I don't. I, I'm I'm stuck because the places that I'm, I'm I'm like I hate home, but then I hate where I gotta go. You know what I mean? It's a really weird <laughs> fucking way to live your life. But here we are. <laughs> I've, I, I'm happy, and I found a way to make it work. I live on vacation, so I'm. I'm... <laughs> I live in sunny Orlando, Florida. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta deal with like Mother Nature, and like she gets angry and like hurricanes you once a year. I've had nope, I've had two back to back this year. In one year, and in, in within weeks of each other, three weeks of each other. Did you get any damage, or uh, we Orlando was underwater? <laughs> Were you okay? <laughs> We're yeah, of- there's. <laughs> Well, because like I've got friends that got hit, and then I've got friends that like they're like I think uh, my buddy Jason. I think the most that happened to him, I think one of a tree fell down in his yard, and I said, "Yeah, I think we lost was... our fence. Oh fuck! You lost your oh jeez. Yeah, that's rough. Well, I'm hoping that this game of Quizplex is not as disastrous as a hurricane that will wipe out a fence. But who knows? Who knows what could happen here <laughs> Thursday night? It might be um, the most eloquent intro we've ever had for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a second. We're, 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 we're going to be seven. To make one. Well, and and you certainly found one, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> now, usually this would be the part where I mention that, of course, this is a pub trivia game. So we do have a bit of a drinking game. We are always r- encouraging responsible drinking. But whenever my producer, the person to the side on my screen here, pops in, you're, you're encouraged to enjoy a little bit of your your adult beverage. So, uh, you know, usually he would pop in and make me drink, but he's here. So let me just enjoy my eggnog as we go. And hi, Plugo. Josh. Everybody in the chat. Good to see you. Josh and Plugo, great people. Thank you so much for joining us. I know I'm going to leave the screen so that uh, the game actually works, Zach. I'll see you later. Indeed. So, yeah, as you can see, we're doing a head-to-head edition of Quizplex. Uh, it's going to be an absolute blast. Uh, we're going to like talk about the rules a little bit. I'm going to talk about revisions because of it's a, it's a two-player game as we go. Uh, but, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at how Quizplex is played. Each player is going to have the opportunity to answer two, in this case, three pro wrestling-related questions. They will have 10 seconds to verbally answer each of their questions. If a player gets their first question right, we will move immediately to their next question. And while the active player is answering their question, the other player may also write the the answer to the same question on their whiteboard. If the active player gets their question wrong, the other contestants can be awarded half points if the answer on their whiteboard is correct. Correct answers for the active player are worth 100 points and correct (coughs) answers for questions stolen from the active player are worth 50 points. Gentlemen, that's about as clear as it gets. Are you ready to play some Quizplex? So all yes. of our answers getting written down, right? Well, when you are the active player and we'll identify you, uh, you you say your answers verbally. Okay. So if you're the active player, uh, Pero will be answering the same question on his whiteboard. Gotcha. If you okay. get your, and if you get your question wrong, he has a chance to steal like 50 points from you. Gotcha. Not from you, but just get half the points. Yep, that makes sense. Excellent. 
Pero, you ready to kick off? Actually, one more thing I do want to mention. You might have noticed my Joyeux Noel hat. You might notice that I'm drinking a little bit of Rugman eggnog. I've mixed in as many pro wrestling Christmas questions as I possibly could. I try to like look for more holidays, but it's <laughs> wrestling seems to be very Christmas heavy, and that's okay. Pero, okay. your first quest, your first question, and we are kicking off with some Christmas questions. Who won the main event of the Elimination Chamber? Uh, a main event Elimination Chamber of ECW's December to Dismember 2006. Uh, Bobby Lashley? Bingo, sir. You have just been awarded 100 points. Well done. And always, uh, anyone who's in the comment section, please let us know if you're getting these answers correct. Not the fans, no. That was a disappointing match. That was certainly a disappointing match. And actually... While I was referring to the comment section, uh, gentlemen, if you can, on the side of the screen, you might notice a private tab, uh, private yes. chat tab. If you can hover there, because we are encouraging the people who are in the comment section to throw out answers. And we do trust you find upstanding gentlemen, but just in case, we want to make sure it's an honest game. Pero, your second question. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Spencer. I'm not used to, uh, to the question. You got the questions under control. How many wrestlers has China eliminated among her two Royal Rumble appearances? Twelve. Oh, my. No, I'm sorry. That is not the correct answer. Ben, you got four. I'm afraid that there are no points being awarded for this question because the correct answer is three. She's eliminated Owen Hart, Mark Henry, and Chris Jericho. Owen Hart should count for two because he's fucking awesome. Owen Hart, Owen Hart should count for two because he is awesome, but that and is Mark not how Chris Flex is. And Mark hits two people, absolutely. <laughs> World's strongest man. And again, China was just an absolute star. Loved her program with Mark Henry and Chris Jericho. And uh, yeah, good programming all around. Um, and yeah, I'm used to like handing off over to the next active player. But again, we have three questions for you, Pero. Your third question for round one. Which members of the Shield were Grand Slam champions in the WWE? Uh, uh, uh one. Um, uh, uh well, I, can, I was about to call him his independent name. Uh, fuck. Uh, 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 Take your time. Uh, uh, Seth Rollins. Is that your answer? Uh, no, Dean Ambrose was two, so two. I'll go two. Two is not the correct answer. <laughs> no, I saw that, Ben. No erasing. <laughs> no erasing. Well, the Dean, correct answer is, yeah, Dean, Seth, no, and Roman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Roman didn't. How did, how was Roman like? He's what titles did he hold? I don't think I, Roman was the U.S. Yeah. champion. Incorrect. He absolutely was. He held the U.S. championship. I, I don't know who he defeated. I almost want to say uh, no. I'm not going to say Rusev. Was he it's the not Rusev. Intercontinental champion? I don't remember who he won it from, but I do remember he defended against Rusev in Hell in a Cell because the finish was he choked him out on the stairs with a uh, with a chain. I'll find that one for you. We will fact check. And we will all of them. I do. I do remember him being United States champion. I will. I will vouch for that. And this does, by the way, include and Kurt drink. Angle and Triple H. <laughs> No, I can't say that Triple H wasn't a United States champion. But if uh, if there if if we are correct and uh, there uh, excuse me if we are incorrect and there's some problems, we have no problems refining the scoreboard as we need it. Spencer's going to look that up uh, while we move on to Ben. You are now the active player. Pero will be writing his answers on his paper or whiteboard. Be uh, I think Spencer's multitasking. I feel like I'm putting him on the spot too much. He's just gonna... what's that? You said drinking wrong. <laughs> I mean, he's doing that too. It is pub trivia. <laughs> I'm, I just realized I'm I'm losing my little gingerbread man in the in the chroma key happening. It's just like fading away into oblivion. He's part of the chalkboard now. Ben, yes. Your first question of round one: What ECW alumni ran with the gimmick Santa Claus, the evil Santa, in the WWF? If I remember correctly, Sir Balls Mahoney. <laughs> Sir Balls Mahoney is indeed correct. Pharaoh got it as well. Pharaoh got right. it as well. I just wrote balls. <laughs> Santa balls. We knew what you meant by balls. Sure. <laughs> uh, ben, your next question. 
I want you to name all three wrestlers who are recognized as former WWE and IWGP heavyweight champions. Ooh, okay. Um, AJ, Finn, I should know this. Um, Questions have started to get tough. <clears throat> AJ Finn. I'm going to give you t uh, five more seconds. It's not Shinsuke, was it? Shinsuke never went, uh, won the world title. Shit, I'm stuck on the two. I'm afraid I can't give it to you there. Pero, what do you have on your page? Uh, it's AJ Finn and Machine Gun. AJ Finn and Machine Gun. I worry I didn't answer this, uh, ask this question properly. I'm talking about WWE, like World Heavyweight Champion. Oh. Like I'm talking top. Uh, I'm top. I uh, uh, top. The, uh... I, and I, I worry about that for both. So like I, I would afford Ben like another moment just to maybe revise his answer if the question was uh and uh, again to you Pero as well. Dude, I, I got the answer. Brock Lesnar. Brock, so Brock, Shinsuke, and AJ is your uh, answer? So Brock, AJ, and Finn. Brock, AJ, and Finn. And technically, we can add You're Kurt Angle into that as well if we want to as a added bonus. Well, I mean, I'm afraid I can't give it to you with Finn Balor. Finn Balor is not a former WWE champion. Yes, he is. He was. Yes, he is. Finn, Finn, he was Finn the first ever champion. Universal Champion. Yeah. Oh, of course he was. Now. He broke his shoulder in the match. Yeah. Damn. We're going oh, to give, give them. We're going to give them both points. We're just going to give them both points. I don't know how, but Zach, yeah, that was you're, you're going to find a way. You're that, that's exactly. You're going to find a way to make that happen because this question was just it. Uh, that uh, it was a spell. Well, you know what, Spencer? I, I actually copied this from December's Quizplex last year, and for some reason, we had <laughs> Shinsuke listed. Shinsuke never won the WWE championship nope. unless i'm really mistaken there too the but royal anyway rumble. you got the royal rumble and that was a great uh one of my favorite Damn. royal rumbles actually so there's there's just what zach had for an answer just for reference completely left out finn my mistake i was gonna and say an unrecognized antonio inoki was absolute. i i almost said that too because that is uh that bothers me that that didn't get recognized and i don't think that he's the only one that that won it and didn't get recognized i think somebody else did too and i'm, I'm trying uh, to remember but I can't quite speak to that right now. Uh, Hab guy, thank you very much. Confirming okay. that uh, Reigns won the U.S. title from uh, from Rusev and lost it to Chris Jericho. Great shouts right there. Thank you very much, Hab guy. Thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, Hab guy was very excited that Big Ben was going to be on Quizplex uh, in the uh, Between Two Beards chat. So, bit of a shout out there. Thanks. Um, we have. Yeah, we have one more question for Ben as we conclude round one of Quizplex. Let's go. All right. What promotion ran the event Holiday Hell for the first time in 1993? I'm not picking so, like an indie that nobody has ever heard of back from 1993. It's a name. So that's what I'll put out there. That has to be ECW. Bingo. It was indeed ECW. It was a... Uh, it was one of the pay-per-views that transferred or special events that transferred over from Eastern Championship Wrestling to Extreme Championship Wrestling, but ECW gets the points. Dustin yeah. gets that as well. And nobody in 93 was doing anything like relatively close to even throwing names out like that, other than that. Yeah, that was that was ECW all the way. Yeah, that was a very ECW brand. With that, that is the conclusion of round one. Uh, we're going to actually invite Spencer to come in and let us know what the scoreboard, a very volatile scoreboard due to my own uh, screw-ups right there. But I'm, oh, good. I'm glad you threw like. yourself under the bus because I was going to have to, and I, I don't think anybody <laughs> – I don't think anybody would want to heard what I had to say about All that. Oh, me, baby. So. I'm going to completely – oh, oh yeah, we're going to have a talk about this after. Um, so I awarded <laughs> both competitors 100 points for Zach's little faux pas there. So in the lead, Ben, 300 points. Para with 200 coming after the first round. We are heading into round two. Zach will explain that after a brief commercial break. But uh, till then, I'm going to take off. 
Indeed. Uh, so yes, we're going to head to a very brief commercial break, about 90 seconds. Take the time to refresh your bever beverages, whatever you need to do. And uh, thank you. We'll be back with Pero and Big Ben right after this message. That was, of course, the wordsmith with a very fine commercial break. And one thing we should really include in the commercial break is a thank you to RK Athletics. Uh, Rich King is one of the best personal trainers you can ask for in the Edmonton area. If you're not from Edmonton, that's okay. He's got a lot of, pers of uh, online resources at well, as well as rkathletics.ca. And again, he's a very personable guy, too. So if you just want to hit him up at rkathletics1 on either Twitter or Instagram, please feel encouraged to do so. To start chasing your dreams with RK Athletics. Pero, Ben, after round one, how are we feeling about the whole Quizplex vibe, if you will? Pero. I was going to text Ben and tell him that you didn't recognize him as a champion. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I would uh, I would have that coming. Absolutely. I don't want to get on the judgment. Brock and tell him the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I had Brock. I had Brock on the thing. I'm just worried, like, please don't send that to Finn, because, like, I've seen what the Judgment Day do. They're going to show up and, like, jump me in my house during a, a very nice family meal or something. Uh, but with that, let's kick off round two. Again, gentlemen, the gameplay is exactly the same, but what's different is the score, uh, the scorekeeping in round two. If you get the correct answer while you're the active player, you're going to get 200 points. And if you steal an answer from the active player with your whiteboard or paper, you are getting 100 points. We are going to start with the uh, with the the present runner up. Sweet. So, Pero. All right. Thank you for doing that, Spencer. I admittedly forgot what the scoreboard looked like. Uh, so, Pero, your first question in round two: What was Eddie Guerrero's middle name? And here's the hint: it's a family name. <laughs> Questions get harder from here on out. <laughs> that's, that's even, hey, what's the middle name? <laughs> that's not a wrestling question. That's if that, like, a dating app <laughs> question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Oh. Oh, I'm going to go with Chavo. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not Chavo. Ben, what do you got? Hector. I thought those would be the answers shown, but I'm afraid they're both incorrect. The correct answer it is a tough one, D Dustin, but the correct answer here is Gory. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that makes so much sense, but I've never heard <laughs> him refer to it. I've seen the like, move. <laughs> I, like, I don't even remember like Vicky getting mad at him and being like, Eduardo Gory Guerrero, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like nothing like that. I've never heard it mentioned. Yeah. Like, did you go to his like birth certificate? Like, well, like, or something? truth be told, I threw that in the quiz box. Uh, no, <laughs> no I, I just, I was browsing Twitter and someone posted a Twitter of his, uh, of the late great Eddie Guerrero's headstone. And uh, yeah, Eduardo uh, Gori uh, Guerrero. I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a good question. That's a good question. We should, uh, we should include that one. Well, he better get you looked at Eddie Guerrero's yeah. grave, and your first thought was, "What a great <laughs> trivia question!" <laughs> I did not say. <laughs> I did not say it was so my many, first thought. So many questions you could ask about him. You're like, I saw his gravestone, and his middle name sounded awesome. Let's ask that. Of all the things, that was what you thought. <laughs> not was like the first thing I thought, guys. Like, this is a great question for Quizplex. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> not his championship reign, not him versus not, JBL, not him. Versus it was fascinating. Reign. Not no art bar questions. Yeah, yeah not, <laughs> not, nothing like. I thought it was interesting. It tied into the Guerrero family, and again, guys, I promise it was not my first thought upon seeing. Oh, How did that come up with the holiday edition of Quizplex? <laughs> I didn't. Okay. <laughs> There aren't exclusively oh, holiday questions. Just up to talk to him. It's my favorite. I swear if Ben doesn't get a question that is a middle name question of a dead wrestler that you saw on a gravestone, I'm going to be pissed. 
Oh, give it to me. Can... Do well, it. no, no, it's. Uh, I still have. Um, I, I, admittedly, I've lost count after the roasting, but I think I have two more questions for Barrow. Um, uh, <laughs> are you not middle? Another middle... Grave... Were, were you another, another graveyard? <laughs> <laughs> another graveyard. <laughs> like <laughs> my you second watch question. Did you learn this advice, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> the dark side of the ring question. <laughs> Happy holidays, guys. Oh. I thought it was really I, interesting. I, I can laugh because oh, I'm the boy. wrestling coordinator for that show. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'm recovering. I'm recovering, and I got yeah, a Christmas you got this. question for you. Okay, uh, Pero. Oh, on an episode of Primetime Wrestling in December 1989, WWF, of course, Rowdy Roddy Piper spent the evening antagonizing Santa Claus. What pro wrestling legend was Santa on this episode? Could you ask a question when I was a kid? Like, like, hey, <laughs> who was Santa Claus in the Attitude Era? I can name them all. <laughs> in 1989, who was Santa Claus? <laughs> Again, legend, uh, legend. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to blatantly guess. Uh, it was 89. Was Dusty there yet? Dusty wasn't there yet. Uh, you know what? I'll go with Dusty because they love making fun of him. I'm afraid it was not Dusty. Dusty was not Santa there Claus yet. on this particular evening. Well, yeah, I don't think ben. No? Uh, no, I don't think he was even there yet. That, that was just a blatant guess. A shot in the dark. Not the, certainly not the first. Won't be the last year on Quizplex. How long is that? Ben. Ben, 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 ben. I was gonna a, say. Ben drew a picture of him. It was not. Uh, it was not Hogan. How many? Uh, how many times did you erase? To Paris point, you were writing for a good while. I didn't I erase anything. I was literally like, I, 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 I couldn't think. Like I'm like, it wasn't Ted DiBiase. He was the first name that's popped up to me for some reason. And I'm like, no, that wouldn't have put a heel in a fucking Santa outfit. This is another one that you're gonna. This is another one you're gonna be kicking yourself for. The answer was Bobby the Brain Heenan. <laughs> we all accept that. We're all uh, we're all ready to move on. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. I swear, if Ben's questions aren't ridiculous. <laughs> I, I'm. Uh, we're ridiculous. I promise. I promise. Is this question for him or me? This one's still you. This is your third uh, question for round two. Who did Charlotte Flair make tap out at the WrestleMania thirty at WrestleMania thirty two to become the inaugural WWE Women's Champion? Uh, Sasha. Wasn't I'm it afraid it was. Was it a three way? Ben got it. Pero, you were right. It was indeed a three-way, but Becky Lynch was the person who tapped out. Was not Sorry, quite Sasha, yet. That, Sasha was in that match, right? Sasha was indeed in that match. Yeah. Every uh, all the horsewomen was, except that was for the, for Bailey. So this iconic. was a complete, complete coin flip because I knew the match for no clue who took the finish. Mine was a shot in the dark. We, I think yours was the same. I think we both just flipped, yeah, and I, I just I, I knew I knew who was in the match. I, and, was that Orlando? No, that I was Dallas. That was Dallas. Yeah, I think no, so. No, that was Orlando. 32 was, was the one, yeah, wasn't I it, think. with the big old globe? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the roller coaster. I just, I thought it was Dallas because I remember there no, being a thing were, because. They, she, like, she, uh, she it, it, it was Dallas? Got some contention here. When did she here. walk Triple H? Dallas, I thought Dallas was Triple H when she was Triple H's. Uh, like, that was 30. That was thirty because thirty two is no because thirty two is Roman Reigns versus Triple H in the critically acclaimed match. Uh, oh, JP you know, says he was there. And I, in I, was there too. I, I was in town. I looked <laughs> on the outside. Hey guys, one day. No, okay. No, but I, I do remember Dallas for some reason because I'm a huge Cowboys mark, right? So, yeah, uh, and I remember when they were doing the video lead up to that, they were like crying because they saw their face on the stadium, and I was like, "Oh, that must be badass to have your face on like the girls on Cowboys Stadium." I just remember that memory for some reason. I just remember the moon cell. <laughs> yeah, that too. That was fucking sweet. 
Maybe we're all just like coming to Quizplex from a various different timelines. Some say it happened in Orlando. Some say it happened in Dallas. Maybe it's maybe well, those are all, true. No, 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 because it all messes in my head. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. In all fairness, most matches of WWE are in Orlando, so I can see where that That's, can get a little confusing. Absolutely, JPJ saying he was there, not appreciating a forty-minute match between Triple H and Roman Reigns. Uh, not the time to editorialize the match, but. Again, I like the match. It was just the wrong match. Roman should just squish them and just be done with it. Not 40 minutes. Ben, Pray got some questions for you. I here. swear to God. If these <laughs> are, you better ask a different I got some third middle name question. <laughs> I have a question about action figures. This is for the buyers of uh, who have an action figure collector in their lives during this holiday season. Who is the only wrestler to have an action figure modeled modeled after them in ECW, WCW, WWF, WWE, and TNA? You don't have to write this one down. You're active. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just, I'm just doing some math in my head because they're... Was it Jerry Lynn? It was not Jerry Lynn, I'm afraid. Jerry Lynn, uh, what do we got? Tommy Drew. Oh. And that's I'm wondering. True. Yes, that is Wait, true. Wait, WCW, though? In every company. He has a DNA oh. toy. He has an ECW toy. Thank goodness. He has a WCW toy. Wait, there's a WCW Tommy Dreamer toy? Ooh. No, there's no <laughs> WCW okay. Tommy Dreamer. I was gonna say it was possible that my my information was out of date because I would definitely believe that there's a new a Tommy Dreamer figure if if Impact is uh, creating figures. But the correct answer is Tommy Dreamer's rival Raven, ah. who has oh, yeah, who has over a hundred matches in both in all four of those companies. Are you sure he has a WCW figure? Yeah, who, like, he uh, has to have a WCW. Him versus Gold. He was like a huge storyline for them. Gold, him versus Goldberg, he had the flock. That was the... the I love the, the flock. The flock. Yeah, you're right. No, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Just for... But, okay, well, I was going to, like, save this picture, but my computer has decided to freeze. I hope I'm still in Quizplex. Yes. Yeah, no, no, I... I, I, uh, I Hello? I, yeah. yeah, you're still here. <laughs> okay, cool. Nope, that all makes oh, sense. Oh, Scott Hall, that would be a cool one. Yeah. yeah Hall JPJ Hall. suggesting Scott Hall, but no, uh, I don't believe there's. I know you appeared in ECW, but no Scott Hall uh, ECW figure. <laughs> Probably be worth a lot of money if uh, if one thing such exists. Does um, the Public Enemy have one? I mean, again, my research plainly said Raven is the only person to have action figures in all four of these companies. So That's interesting, though. Yeah. Uh, but I got an another question for you, Ben. Sure. I've only just noticed that you're actually big, uh, big Venus <laughs> on your on your screen. <laughs> okay. Uh, what former WWE superstar defeated Sheamus for the U.S. title in a pre-taped SmackDown that aired on Christmas Day? Which, by the way, also happens to be this wrestler's birthday. Five more seconds. Was it JBL? It was not JBL, I'm afraid to say. Pero, what do you... Who, who, who's birthday? Quick, 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 Seamus' birthday or the guy's birthday? The the person were... The answer of this question. <clears throat> they won... Uh, yeah. They defeated Seamus on an episode that was released on their birthday, which is Christmas Day. I want to say Cass, but no. No, I'm afraid it wasn't Cass either. The correct answer is Rusev. Hmm. Really? Yep. It Christmas was baby. It was a it was a pre-taped. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like it aired on uh on Christmas Day, which was like a Friday or whatever, of course. But uh, yeah, Rusev w won the title on his birthday with which was uh, Christmas Day. I'm telling you, one of the biggest missed opportunities was like not doing a Rusev Day special on the WWE Network in the vein of a Christmas special. No, Could have been gold. 
What are the, what are the so big, no, having John Cena beat Rusev when he came out in a tank. And then right. not having Rusev versus Brock in America versus Russia in, in your WrestleMania and having that, that was a waste to me. I'm yes. A Rusev, I'm a huge Rusev fan. I, oh, he's I, great. <laughs> like, I, I think uh, that was like a letdown when they had him come out in a tank. It was a tank. <laughs> Which was allegedly he, he 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 banged his wife in said tank on the way to the ring, which fucking sweet. I mean, uh, that, how long was that tank ride? Long <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need more than that tank ride. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if me and my husband are both gonna fit in it either. So. <laughs> I was oh, gonna say, like, I'm a, I'm a not, not the boy, biggest space. No. <laughs> oh boy, tank sex. Welcome to Quizplex, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think we have one more question for Ben Spence. Yeah, so. we got one more for you to c- close off round two. All right, let's take a look. Which wrestler made a guest appearance on Married with Children playing Uncle Irwin? Now, here's a hint the show's family. Got their last name from the wrestler from the wrestler's ring name, oh, Uncle King that. Kong Chris. <laughs> King Kong Chris, that's his real name, Chris. Oh, King okay. Kong one. See, uh, good brother. I'm glad we clarified. I'm glad we clarified. Indeed, so, King Kong so, Bundy. So you know what would have been helpful for my Eddie Guerrero question? You could have <laughs> just been like, "Here's a hint. It's na- they the family uses a move named after this." Ooh. I said oh, it was a family name. In all Bundy, fairness, Bundy, though. There is not many Bundy wrestlers who literally gave him the answer. No, in all fairness though, Pero, I didn't I didn't need that. Because I oh, my I dad that, but that I I, I, that. I I grew up on Married with Children. That was like yeah. mine and my dad's. Yeah, I, I, show. I actually remember the episode, but still. That, yeah. It, 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 and I remember uh King Kong Bundy, he actually told me the story like of like the whole I'm Bundy just, experience. I'm not just saying there's Canadian bias on this show, but a little, little Canadian <laughs> bias. I thought you I thought you guys were supposed to be polite and nice and stuff. <laughs> we are getting, aren't we, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, very much want so, eh? Want some here's a, syrup, here's huh? a hint. His last name is Bundy as well. <laughs> Ted. Okay. <laughs> Tell you what, Pero, Pero, I'm going to make this right uh, for round three. Uh, and Spencer, um, round three, we're going to be one question too many. So make sure we're doing the, the Christmas questions out of what's left. Uh, I'm going to make this right, Pero. I'm going to give you a hint on your round three question. Is that is that amenable? Uh, is it is it a dead wrestler question? Like, I, 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 I don't recall. What is, what is the real name? What is the real nickname of this high school? His high school nickname. <laughs> what is Bart's uh, high school girlfriend's name? Yeah. Okay. No, I, none of them have know. anyone dead. Just looked at him. Yeah. There's, there's uh there's dead. one that's there's one that's tough. <laughs> well, uh, be but, one, more, one almost dead. I was like, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, but. It, with that being said, we are going to be moving on to round three in just a very short minute. Uh, but, of course, we've got to welcome Spencer back onto the uh, screen and let us know what the scoreboard looks like going into round three. Spencer, welcome back. Thanks, Zach. Just happy to be here and making a paycheck. Uh, Big Venus, you are still in the lead with 500 points coming out of round two. Pero sitting at 300 points, 200 points back of the leader of course, Big Venus at 500. I just said that, so I'm just going to take off. And I'm not used to not hosting. I'm, I'm used to being in a rhythm by this point. I can't just keep jumping in and out. So I'm just going <laughs> to jump out. I enjoy it, though. Yeah. It's like a special oh. guest, and then he disappears. He's like the he's like the wacky neighbor <laughs> walking into the door. Big Christmas, sound. Elf. Christmas elf. They just <laughs> yeah. on One show. more click. One more quick sponsor I want to shout out is, of course, the good people at Manscaped.com because support for Love Wrestling is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision engineering tools for your family jewels. One of my favorite lines in all of the ad copy I've ever had to read here at Love Wrestling. So if you head over to Manscaped.com and use the promo code LOVEWRESTLING, you're going to get 20% off your order. 
you're going to get, and again, Ben, you're Canadian, you know how valuable this is. You're going to get 20% off your order, as I mentioned, but also free worldwide shipping, which we don't often get. Mm-hmm. 20% yep. off free worldwide shipping. Love Wrestling's your promo code over at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. We've got one more commercial break, one more 90 seconds to refresh in our beverage and whatever else we may need to do. And we'll be back in just a moment for round three. The ball deodorant will thank you. <laughs> Friends and foes, we are heading into round three. Uh, there's... You know, I, we know what the scoreboard looks like, but there's still plenty of opportunity to flip that around. I'm going to be honest. I um, I mismeasured my latest round, and I made this uh, little rum and eggnog a little bit stronger than I meant to. So things might get a little bit more interesting in round three. Gentlemen. What would Santa do, Zach? What would Santa what, do? <laughs> uh, hopefully he wouldn't be piloting the sleigh right now if, uh, if he were in my shoes. Because, again, we were believe in responsible drinking here on love wrestling um but yeah again pero again you're you're the runner up presently do you think you have it in you to turn this around <laughs> well it depends on your questions <laughs> speaking of zach i've got i've 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 got a question of my own here you said okay of the of the three questions use the two christmas ones like they're all fucking christmas ones here bud i have no idea <laughs> okay well i wasn't I have sure. no idea what you want me to do no idea what you okay, want me well, to do. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Let pick, me, you know, I'm gonna pick my two favorite. That's actually. I'm now. I know exactly what perfect. I'm going to do. I walk my way through it. That we is perfect. Uh, you know what? Oh man. Okay. Don't do the year question because I don't think I can give a hint about that one. Unless you give the year. Yeah, and that's a pretty shitty hint because it's giving away the answer. All right. So right. Sounds good. I can do that. Well. Well, okay, you know what? Let's let, let's make that for the public. Actually, let's let's uh, ask everyone in the comments. This is no points will be awarded for this little bonus question. Let's ha just have a little bit of fun with this uh, extra question that we have handy here on Quizplex. Uh, Mick Foley was the subject of the of I Am Santa, a documentary following five Santa lookalikes and what they do for the other eleven months of the year. What year did the film came out? Pero, you can see it would have been hard to give you a, a hint on this one. I think. Well, it was it was recently. <laughs> Past de decade, that would that would have been my hint, but that that still sucks. Twenty sixteen, Barrow. Got 20, 2017, 2019 in the comments, 2018. No, wrong answers all around. Points would not be awarded even if you got him right. The answer is 2014. So you all learned that. Yeah. I hope you yeah. uh, take that knowledge. And I, 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 and I think I've got totally? it. Totally? Yeah. I, I love I've been, like, Mick is an amazing person and a huge supporter of lgbtq wrestlers and everything so and nick is one of the reasons i'm a pro wrestler and the style i do so i i watched it so i i, I feel like am i that old <laughs> like was it that long ago yeah. like because I, like did it holy foley come out right afterwards like shortly after i couldn't speak to uh, to that with confidence i'm afraid is, is it the same documentary crew I'm not sure. I, I only I only looked up the Christmas question. <laughs> I, well, no, it doesn't matter because nobody was rewarded points, so we're there. Nobody was and confirmed from the Wikipedia that was uh, released in 2014. Wow. Huh? See, I get some of my research <laughs> correct because Wikipedia never lies. <laughs> I actually edited the Wikipedia entry as we were talking about that, just so I didn't get egg on my face for a third time this evening. Uh, with that round, uh, good e uh, we the Dark Order North, thank you for joining us. Good evening, everyone. Handshake, welcome to Big Ben. <laughs> that's good. That's a good sight gag. I like that one, uh, gentlemen. Uh, gameplay is very similar in the final round. Round, but uh, what's different is the points, as always. One question per active player and correct answers for the active player are worth 500 points. And correct answers stolen from the active player are worth 250. If you play your cards right, you can walk away with 750 points this round. And again, that'll flip the whole leaderboard upside down. But we're going to kick this off with Pero. First, are you ready, surprised. sir? 
Styles the champion because he's a total nerd when it comes to these, the wrestling questions. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get this. We're going to get this. Um, okay. December 1997, Steve Austin came to the ring and dropped Santa Claus with a stunner after he was being mean to a six-year-old. Uh, the kid in question is a present WWE champion, and I think that's a substantial hint. Who was it? In 97? Well, 97. It's an iconic stunner. He comes out, you know, like we've all seen it on Twitter as a GIF about a billion times. And he's a champion currently in WWE? He is. Well, it, it's not theory. Uh, he's pro he probably was not even born. Uh, no, but, he, was, uh, no in, he, was, uh, he was just, uh, no, he wasn't born yet. No, <laughs> no, he definitely wasn't born yet. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, six. Uh, Dominic's not a champion, so. Uh, God, who, who, their family had to be somewhat in WWE at the time. Uh, oh, we're thinking. Yeah, well, I know. The, 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 how else is they're going to bring a six-year-old out there? Uh, I, Got some fun answers in the Twitch chat. I'm afraid none of them are correct just yet. It is a current champion? Current champion. I'm going to give you 10 more seconds, Perro. That's about as much time as I can okay. give you. Uh, 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 Us Jay Uso? Bravo, sir. We oh! can't confirm which Uso it was, but it was Jimmy or Jay Uso who was in the ring uh, with Santa Claus. <laughs> well done. I was going to go Bro on. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, 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 A good I, stab in the dark. Sorry, I was referring to Ben's uh, Ben's stab in the dark because you I didn't mean to cut you off there. Also, a good guess, but I don't think he was born yet either because he's only twenty one. Is he? The, yeah, he's, he looks sounds about right. He, 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 <laughs> you said you, you said who'd you say? A prawn breaker. Yeah, he's twenty one. <laughs> he literally. I mean, it, he, he literally just got out of college. I had no idea. I thought he was yeah, way Austin, older for some Austin reason. Theory is only 23. I knew Austin Theory was young. I didn't know that Braun Breaker was that young, though. In That's all fairness, young. all the Steiners look have always looked at least 30. Like, there's no, there's not younger yeah. footage of them. <laughs> they were born that makes sense. Out of, out of the They world. were born warriors. Yeah, just 30 years old right there. Go. Go suplex people now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now, Ben, yes. your this is the final question of Quizplex. Again, it's probably the probably the hardest one because again, you were the point leader going to the final round, so we afford you the hardest question. You ready for this? No. All right, let's try. <laughs> December 1996, WWE produced a non-televised event, Christmas Brawl. Name any one person who was in the main event. This hint will probably give at least one of these people away. The event took place in Germany. Okay, please tell me it was Das Wonder Kid Alex Wright. Oh, I just wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's about as dramatic a finish as it comes. Let's because go! I just, I Alex literally just wrote I just right. Wrote if you had Alex any idea, I hope my buddy Brady is watching right now because if you knew that me winning this fucking show off of Alex Wright just happened, he would but be so, so mad right now. But here's the thing. How how did I got my question right? He got the hit. You were supposed to give me the hit. You gave him a hit. That's two hints. That's, that's uh, okay. Well, I'm just playing by the way. It, I was planning to give you a hint. You gave him. Two there hints. was just a hint written in the hint. question. I didn't. You didn't give him two hints. I mean, you both had two hints. Like, okay, if hang you on. Got that wrong. You would have benefited you from the hit. Okay, hang on. My question. Can we discuss just one thing real quick about this answer? What yeah. bullshit ass match was this to main event? <laughs> they just wanted Alex to get beat up. <laughs> Alex and Luger against Harlem Heat. 
I, you know, Lex didn't take anything during that. Oh time. no, <laughs> no, he was hot tag all day. <laughs> Holy! He posed. He did the torture rack and got out. Just yeah, he he was he was wait he was on that that fucking apron yep. just pumping uh, pumping uh, brakes. Uh, Give me that tag, brother. Forearm, forearm torture rack. Ah, fucking pay me. <laughs> there you go, kid. Uh, take the pin. Pero, I know there's a lot of controversy about how the hints were handed out and things uh, of that nature I, going I'm through Qu Quizplex. There's a lot of Canadian bias on their show. And I'm, <laughs> like, I didn't know you guys were heels like that. But then, oh, man. <laughs> then again, it is called the Montreal Screwjob. It's, it's, it's Bingo. Now you're on to something. Now you're on to something. I've been Montreal Screwjob, Pero. It's not fun. <laughs> all, I'm, all I'm saying is that all those things happen in Canada. <laughs> exactly. See, rigged. <laughs> even if even affiliate pain is uh, dragging me right now, I'm not sure I haven't uh, earned it. We... Yeah, we're all doing the, uh, the, the Alex Wright. Oh, literally, good times. Literally, this, it's so funny because they had the Disco Inferno gimmick, and I remember him debuting and being like, what's this? And now that character actually makes total sense with EDC and all that, and I'm like, that's a great ahead-of-its-time character. But he was such <laughs> a terrible fucking wrestler, Pero. But then you had <laughs> Alex Wright, who was like sort of the same gimmick, and he was so good. Yeah, very good. But that's so good. That, but that's pro wrestling in a nutshell. Yeah, it kind of is. One guy got one guy. Spencer, we're just spitballing here. I I've put yeah. pulled you into the room. Okay. <laughs> I'm just you rigging the you rigging the questions over there. <laughs> yeah, that's actually I'm getting the tiebreaker ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I uh, I don't think I'll be allowed you, to host Canadian Quizplex ever mean, again guys. after this. I, <laughs> you, you do everything so nice. Like, oh, <laughs> all, all we were doing was just helping you out. We're truly <laughs> awful people quick. up here. We need to get that message across <laughs> loud and clear. We're horrible people. It's true, but, but we, we smile we while we're everything. doing it, and we say please and thank you. So I and think and about apologize, everything. And apologize. Right. We're, we're, we're sorry we ruined the questions, eh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Turns out he got the sheet before. With yeah. that, Spence. Uh, like, Here's your questions, man. Like, <laughs> hey, we're gonna throw a Bundy wink wink question in there. <laughs> okay, I will. Literally, I got. What is Eddie Guerrero's middle name? Oh, I saw it on the gravestone on Twitter. And then you so, got, hey, married with children. And here's the I still don't understand the thought. His last name. I'm I still don't understand the thought process there, Zach. Like, I, I, I need you to understand. Here, you have to be with for the rest of your life for that one question. Like, well, yeah, you, it's, you're not going to let that down. down for a long time. No. Oh, and, like, you could have chosen problem. any but question, and you're like, you know what? But Eddie Guerrero. So many questions you could ask. So I thought it was so cool. I thought it was interesting. Like you could have asked about Japan, which would have been great. You could have asked about WCW. You could ask about the Cruiserweight division. You could have asked Halloween Havoc <laughs> about his dominant. He was Dominic's dad. You could have asked any question, any question, and you're like, I saw this on a gravestone on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> like of all the questions you could ask about Eddie Guerrero, of as all like Eddie Guerrero, <laughs> I just don't understand where that left turn happens. Where you're like coming across it somberly, and finally think to yourself, "All right, enough Merry time Christmas. to talk with me." Enough if I had said I found it anywhere other than this picture of a headstone, I would be fine. But I had to mention where well, I found it. But Zach, that's the key detail. <laughs> you literally, you literally, like that's that's one hundred percent burying the lead. Of course, if you found it elsewhere, it'd be fine. If you said I looked up his middle name on fucking Fightful <laughs> or something, okay. <laughs> but he he literally said that. But he also prefaced it by, "This is a Christmas episode." <laughs> Where'd you find his headstone no, on Twitter? No, I didn't. I did not preface that. Who are you following and tweeting out? Who's tweeting out Eddie Guerrero's headstone? Well, not me. I just saw it. Christmas. But he, when he's looking for questions and he's like 
Well, this is a great <laughs> like, Christmas question. I'm wondering what happened in his family that at Christmas time they just go look at people's gravestones and be like, that's a fun middle name. <laughs> Zach, we killed him. He's, he can't be here no more. <laughs> I just, I, I don't understand what your timeline's like where that's the algorithm that bumps up at wrestler headstones. Like, are you kidding me? He's like, Bobby Heenan was Santa Claus. Oh, here's a fun one. And it's the very middle name. It's right here on Twitter on this gravestone. Who are you following? That's exactly my question, Pero. How does that come across your timeline? Like, who do you follow? Oh, oh, I think possible. we're starting to find out that Zach might be into some weird, twisted yeah. shit. And it was this is, this is, else this is literally, it's just like opening Pandora's box just a smidgen, you know what I mean? We are going to have to have a good, long talk after hey, that. Nothing wrong with it. My middle name is Evan. So you don't I'm glad you got to find that out while you were alive, Pero. Matthew. Thank you. Matthew. Matthew with one T because my parents are dumb and they don't know how to spell. One T. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my goodness. I'll do, you'll find mine wow. out when I'm dead, Zach. So we're good. We'll worry about that later. I, oh I appreciate the suspense. I, that's respect. I respect that a lot. Oh. I, I hope I, it's wow. Owen. Spencer, I, o, Spencer Owen Love. That would be cool. Like, that's not bad. Am it's I not right? bad at all, but no. Do, do you oh, ask man. these, uh, Spence? Do you ask the same kind of morbid questions like if he asks? Like, no, they, mine are usually about music videos involving Hulk Hogan and Dolly Parton. Oh, that sounds fun. The only thing headlock on my heart. No, oh, oh, fuck, I, he's gonna put it on. <laughs> weird, weirdly, weirdly enough, I do we still have it up on his knees? Like, like googling it. Dolly Parton, so uh, you know, I didn't delete it. Oh no, we just got the overlay, but this is a shot from the music video. Oh, that's powerful. <laughs> that, that, those, yeah, that's an outfit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You've earned this, okay? Of any night. Yeah, I. Any night you have to be subjected. I, I earned that on this particular. Wrestler <laughs> gravestone season. Jeez. So, let me ask you a quick Do question. Do I there, ever? Zach. At the about twenty <laughs> minutes ago, you were mentioning. I might have yeah. too much booze in my eggnog. Are you regretting that at all? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I mean, it, it's, he's gonna go it's making this whole roast a little bit easier to digest, I, I, Ben. I'm actually kind of worried about the rabbit hole he's going to go down tonight in through Twitter. Like, just just deep dive into some crazy wrestling. No, you bet your ass, Pero. He's going to do a fucking cleanup right now because he's just like, I can't have anybody looking through who I follow. I don't need any questions. This is enough. You'll see him on Facebook tonight. Hey, guys, cleaning a couple of people off the timeline. <laughs> Elon, please do That's not tell anybody what is happening right now. I will buy a Tesla. Let's just be cool about this. No, Elon scrub would all of this. Oh, Ophelia's on it. We're good to go. We're gonna find out. We're oh, gonna find out. I, 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 oh, I've earned every. I have earned every at Smart Mouth Zach going forward because his account no longer exists, guys. It, it is a completely new, fresh startup. Uh, smart mouth. I'll be here with like a big a. dick dastardly mustache next month looking half like Bobby Fish. We haven't even discussed his Instagram yet. Don't even <laughs> crack that one. I can't believe can't believe you came across it. It's, it, it um, would be hard to the winners. Me. It would be That's difficult for me to come across a gravestone on Twitter. You know what my favorite part is right now? Zach's just like <laughs> Someone retweeted Fuck it. all of you. I just wanted to have a nice, fun Christmas game and <laughs> ask Eddie Guerrero questions. And I thought you were an Eddie Guerrero question. You know? it, was, it, was, it was fun. <laughs> you know, this has been a blast. Oh. I've been having so much fun. Yo, so let's fun. do this again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> got, got time, Zach? Are you going to be? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my goodness this is like god spilled a wrestling Please show just announced it's the winner oh yeah coming in, coming in at the same, at the same, it's the same margin of victory they both got their questions right big ben orbit congratulations you are the winner of the final edition of quizplex of the year
Yeah, I'll be giving you the big screen for a victory speech in three, two, one, go. I want to thank not getting horrible questions for uh, <laughs> well, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank. I want to thank getting hints uh, completely by accident for helping me out because I was nervous that my lack of wrestling knowledge might have shown through here, but it didn't. <laughs> So I appreciate everything about all of this. And this is good times. I feel like we should do this again. Uh, I hope this is like one of those reality shows where I at least get to come back on like an all-stars or something. Yeah. No shit. It is. It is. We do have we do have champions. In, oh yeah. This has been this has been a three year long storyline. Quizplex has had champions of champions of champions of champions games at this point. You know how the season finale of Big Brother, they bring back like the the final like half bunch there that like you know the fucking jabronis that didn't get booted out like in the first like three days. They're like, ah, come back and be like the voter or whatever. Like the That's circle. us. Well, I'll be voting you all off. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> you, you, are you Canadian? Good, you're off. <laughs> you Canadian? Sorry for the inconvenience in being here. Did you see what you did, Zach? You fucking yeah. made Peril mad at a, a whole country. A whole this country. is you made me. He's so mad at Sal. us. You, made you did. For Sal. You made him more heated than <laughs> you pulled a Bret Hart. You pulled a Bret Hart, dude. You know, up in Canada, I mean, I mean there Canada is no is prejudice. <laughs> yeah, well, except when it comes probably fire except me. Except when it comes to our quiz shows, if I was going to stick to Anima. It'd be right there in Orlando, Florida. Surprise, surprise! surprise. He's, uh, we uh, made the questions a little uh, <laughs> biased wow. to the Canadians here. <laughs> It wasn't like he made that. It's just he was. I'll, he literally said, oh. "I'll give you a hit," and then gave it to Ben. Here, do you want to uh, come on a wrestling quiz <laughs> show? We'll uh, show there you was a thing or two. A hint in the question. There was. I couldn't undo well, well, it. Well, what was the hint in the question? I couldn't undo it. It was already the written in the question. The hint wasn't in my question. The hint. I just. Got what was your question? I don't remember. There was a hint in your question. There was a hint in your you question. There, was no there we go. Question. Uh, no, I don't feel yeah, I know. Current on. WWE. Hang on here. Oh, thank you, Ophelia. But yes. again, what your hint, hint, your hint was present WWE, 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 WWE champion. What's the hint? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, I do think if he was to write the word hint in front of the, this is a pre- literally say hint. In front of his, it goes hint. He, if they were in Germany, <laughs> who's the only German guy that they had on the roster during that date? <laughs> That's a or hey, this is married with children. Here's a hint. It's his last name. Who were the Bundys named after? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they're like, hey. Anyway, we have done about an hour of Quizplex and about was twenty this show- minutes of it. It's all about the Hogan's you. named after. <laughs> what is this show hosted by famed professional wrestler oh. Dwayne The Rock Johnson called? <laughs> Way to go. My oh, question, man. If Charlotte's match, who did she make tap out? You have a 50 50 chance. So if you get it wrong, he's going to get it right. I'm going to let Zach take all the heat with this one. We're going to raid Queen of the Ring following today's yeah, show. Uh, I, thank I, you for being here, Zach. I'm just going to let you take the heat here, yeah. brother. I'm going to pull a Luger and yeah, I'll come naturally. in at the end to make everybody smile and do nothing. <laughs> oh, absolutely fair. Uh, Pero, I know you didn't pick up the win here, but if anyone picked up the big loss, it, the big L, it's me. What a quiz, Plex. Thank you very much to the both of you for being the part of it. Um, we have gone for about an hour, and about, again, 20 minutes of it at least was roasting me, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, we've heard Ben's victory speech, Pero. We invite you to take the floor, let the audience know where to follow you on social media, maybe drag me a little more if you feel so inclined, but the floor is yours. Well, you can follow me on Twitter at Pero underscore. I did not put that there because they didn't address the issue that our names were also going to be our Twitter handles or Big Dennis. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get that memo either because in Canada, 
they only inform the Canadians no. what is all it, it's about. Use your social media, Canadians. Fuck Paro. Who cares about him? He's American. <laughs> So just just know if you're an American and you come on this show, it's great. They just want Canadians to win. Well, guess what? America's the fucking time that's going to be, that's that's going to be part of our bro. promotional material heading into oh. the next foreseeable few if years. If I ever come back, I'm wearing a USA shirt. Just USA. Me too. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing hacksaw. <laughs> I'm just gonna have him in the background oh. with his hacksaw. We'll bring you on. We'll bring you on for the Canada Day edition to heal on us. <laughs> Isn't this the Why not? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, look at this, and you gave him the answers, and he's already traded sides on you. How do you have an American flag? How don't you? That's a better question. He has a giant oh. Canadian flag. He's talking to Justin. Right now. <laughs> See, this is the new oh. promotional. This is the this is the thumbnail. Just <laughs> Ben, yeah. you had the victory speech, but we'd be remiss if we didn't afford you the floor to let the audience know where to follow you on all ye socials. At Big Ben is angry, uh, or as everybody who sees it for the first time, Big oh. Ben is angry. It's all the same. It's all spelled the same. <laughs> It all means the same. I'm just an angry Ben or angry Venus, depending on how you want to read it or take it. Wait. <laughs> Scratch that last part. Oh. <laughs> I, I, how I, do you want to take your big Venus? I, I oh. just realized what that said. And uh, wow. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh. And, oh, boy. Uh, and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey thank you. No, <laughs> you know, everybody got flags now, apparently. Like, he even told to bring a flag. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? You know, let's remove the bias. I'll remove my green screen. It's just the green screen now. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> but, oh, but now oh, Paro and I... Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... Oh, it's what, Why are you going to go away? <laughs> Okay, now it's like stuck. Now he's just messing oh, with you. Yeah. No, I, I, that was that was. I don't know. Um, well, guess what? My I, name I is Zach. Come, so there. Oh, okay. Now we. Now I. Now I don't regret anything that happened to you this evening, <laughs> Paro. Yeah. Well, why do we get any stampede um, wrestling questions? <laughs> That's a fair question as well. Uh, but with that, oh, oh I think we already had hints for him. No. <laughs> This, 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 I'm in a never-ending cycle of just getting roasted. WWE. <laughs> Tell me about the heart, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, despite what you might think by my current demeanor, this was actually a lot of fun, and I really want to thank Ben and Perro for being a part of this. What was in the corner? I, I saw a picture of I, Stu's dungeon. What was in the corner? <laughs> that would have been my question. And your question, you telling him it was a chair. What was the Morse code knock to get in there? <laughs> What's the secret handshake? Only Canadians know. Tim oh, Horton. Um, <laughs> Tim Horton is pretty high. high. You Tim know Horton what? Is pretty, that's uh, a, that's uh, a fucking Again, thing. I'm really just trying. I'm really Are just trying to let everyone know that I wanted had a great that I survived and had a great time this evening. Uh despite you you got your, my you got, you got your this winner. roasting. <laughs> Our predetermined winner, but I want to thank everyone who joined us for Quiz Flex. Uh but my name is Zach. We yeah, you know, we we heated we heated it up and uh you know gave a few false finishes. Uh but all the same Want to thank Ben. Want to thank Pero for an amazing evening of Quizplex action. Again, uh, all things aside, all my current demeanor aside, this was an absolute blast. Uh, I don't know if Spencer, Spencer will pop back in, but he, he, you can follow him on social media at Spenny Love. You can follow me at Smart Mouth on Twitter, Smart.Mouth on Instagram. And I promise if you purge <coughs> my following and follows list, I don't think you'll find anything of suspect. Uh, but all the same, 
want to thank you all for joining us here on Quizplex. Boy, that's we a real suspicious way to close it out. Right? Well, I mean, I feel like I need to say it after the after my character has been Don't look in the basement for the dead now. bodies, said the person with dead bodies. No, I mean, please don't deep dive into my followers. I got to go. That, that was the I, I uh, that was the most suspect. No, I said go for it. I I I don't officer. I don't know where. Oh boy, came from. <laughs> All right, we're raiding Queen of the Ring. I'm popping out. Zach, I'll get her yeah, back. Yeah, let's just get this done. Carol, it was nice meeting you. Uh, well, thank you. I'll thank you. Oh, you I'll we'll return the favor and job out for you. No problem. For Paro, for Big Penis, for Zach, and for myself, Spencer Love, thank you for joining us on Quizplex. In the meantime, in the in-between time, friends, we'll see you later. Ladies and gentlemen, the points have been tallied. The winners have been announced. The losers have been sent packing. And I am still as ever, Mr. J, better than everyone that competed tonight. It is, as always, a fact of life. In case you're wondering when this lovely, lovely show will be returning, 